Welcome to a um Adobe tutorial man uh tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to use a uh, 3D mode on a, a, a Flash CS4. This can only be on ActionScript 3.0 and only on CS4 because no other has this. Um, first we're gonna start off with ActionScript 3.0. Now. What we're gonna do is, is that I'm just gonna make a plain old block. I don't know. I'm just gonna color it red. Really? All right. What we have is a uh, something right in front of us. Um. Now we're gonna. Really doesn't matter what your shape looks like. You can have a circle for all we know. Yeah. Let's do a circle because that sounds more funner and just cool. I'll make a 3D looking shape for it. Instead of the stroke, I will take get rid of it. Ooh, what I do? I'll get rid of the stroke. And now I will make it look 3D. Wait a second, people. Um Yeah, why not that? All right, there we go. There's our um, there's our uh, 3D. Uh, and we're gonna convert to a movie clip. Convert to symbol. Right click. We're gonna name it a uh, circle. Kill circle. Uh, red straight to middle. All right, now we're gonna click on the 3D rotation tool, which is W, not 3D translation tool. Weird. All right, now you, you should see this box right here. Uh, you can move it up. So you have to cl click on the green bar. You see this yellow, this thing go past you. So like, it's pretty darn cool, if you ask me. And then, you know, you can do some rollovers. Like if, you know, I can do some pretty darn cool stuff with this, um, thing. Uh, I'll give an example of what I would do. Oh, yeah. I know a cool thing. Alright, I'm gonna go into its, uh, filters, which is in the properties box. And this is gonna make it so cool, guys. I'm gonna go into, uh, in, uh new layer. And I'm going to make a drop down shadow. And I want it to be black. No. It's a, yeah, black is a gray color. Then we're going to make another drop down shadow. And then we're going to make a giant blub. Yeah, that's what it's called, blub. Alright, so now if you look at it, ta da! It has, whoa, that looks sweet. Alright, now if you really look at it, really care really closely look at that look how realistic that looks that looks like a chip that just looks amazing I think Adobe did a excellent job with this program um I'm gonna um do some remixes I'm gonna do a, a giant bell love whatever it's called again don't care All right now if you look at it it's gonna look different, but wow. And then you, if you want, I'm gonna add something to make it even look even co cooler. All right, wait a second. Wait a second, guys. And then we're gonna make a thing like that. All right, there we go. Um, so what you're gonna do, what I'm gonna do pretty much, is that I'm gonna paint this brown. Brown, where is it? Yeah. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna paint it brown. So that brings out a lot of color right there. Let's see, just by looking at it. Alright, now I'm gonna add some, like, uh. Ah, sorry, I just clicked on text. I don't know why, my, but my text, when I click on it, it takes a while for it to upload, but I'm not gonna do text right now. Do, 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 do. Well, all right, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go on to my line tool. I'm just gonna make some 
cuts in it so it really looks like it's a table so really with all that I really don't like that so I just think it's so amazing what Adobe did with this like it looks so real so I'm just gonna jeez what is this okay I'm gonna show you what the other filters do so this is like another tutorial for filters I'm just uh, a giant glow uh, a blur let's see how blur turns out you can customize its features and it looks okay I want to get rid of that all right so I'm gonna go on giant glow whoa look at the surrounding on that well I hope you really liked this tutorial I loved it that was the coolest uh, thing I've ever seen um probably my next tutorial I'll show you on uh, motion t motion classic tween a lot of people have trouble with that so um hope this really helped um bye